Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Bunny Says, and this is D4 Dark Dreams Don't Die, but it is with unfortunate news that I must tell you that I went to see if there was another episode of the game, and unfortunately there is not. <laughs> uh, I had to look it up. And D4, Dark Dreams Don't Die, ends at Season 1. And that's what we played. The prologue episode in Episode episode 1 and Episode 2. And there is no more of the game. Uh, it is also unfortunate that I found out that uh, apparently some of the people working behind it... Um, left the company that was making it, and, uh, uh, and the company said there was no more plans to continue the game at all, so this is it for D4. Uh, there is no more. And it has been a few years, so I don't see them picking it up anytime soon. Uh, I mean, maybe someday in the future, you know, who knows, maybe three or four or five years from now, they suddenly might decide to pick it up again and re redo it, but uh, this is the end of the game, and that was such a shame. <laughs> uh, I wanted to tell you and to say uh, that this is the epilogue of it, this is the end of the game. Um, and just to have a little file here at the end to cap off everything. I, um, I wanted to say how much I enjoyed it. I, I love the setting, I love the game itself, I love the art style. The crazy sort of quirkiness to it was just stuff that would just b bounce out of <laughs> nowhere. That would just sort of pop out of nowhere was really funny. I mean, it, it would. It was just so bizarre sometimes that it would just make me laugh, you know. And uh, and it was never. It was never unwelcome, you know. Um, te technically, I love the art style. I I really think. Um, that the sort of heavy cell shading sort of art type of animation works works really well with story driven games like this and I had fun with the little QTE things where you were you know um, that broke up the sort of any kind of monotony or storytelling and, And uh, I didn't have any technical I didn't have any technical problems at all, and the game never crashed or anything like that. Um, I wish that could have been like maybe some higher resolutions, but I, I, I didn't feel they were necessary. Uh, but I mean, the audio was good. The songs of nice. It's really beautiful, haunting music to it. I like the setting and the location. They really had it down pretty well. I mean, they, you know, they captured some, you know, some fun at parts of the essence of Boston here and there. You know, it was it wasn't exact, but it was you know, it was fun. It was, it's something you can poke fun of if you if you know the place. You know, but uh, I really, I that's too bad. I really felt like it was a deep, there was a deep story going on. It had a rich background, and um, it felt like it had a rich story, and uh, and I felt it was well thought out. That there was an actual conclusion to it, and. You know, I got the feeling that there was a whole 
it wasn't just a sort of you know um, go by the seat of the pants sort of story it was you know that then it was all thought out and I was ready it's just oh well it's a shame that it's not gonna I'm not gonna see the end I guess Yeah, yeah, you know, it is too bad. I mean, if you think about it, it was a, you know, detective sort of um, agonizing over his dead wife and a strange, uh, you know, crime occurring, you know, with weird sort of weird new drug and mysterious characters and fun sort of uh, really fun quirky characters. I still wanted to find out what was going on with Amanda. <laughs> I think it was just a joke that she was, you know, she was actually probably his cat. But they just, you know, they couldn't have, um, they couldn't do some of the things they needed to do, <laughs> so they put her in human form. Um, it's a sh and that's a shame. I, I really, this is the type of game I prefer. And I do want—I do want to say something about. Them. I guess can, uh, for other games I'll be playing, just real quick. I'll—I will—I will be looking for something like this in the future. Something you know, some type of games that I like with um, intriguing stories like this. Because it's fun when you get to a point where you're starting to speculate and wonder what's going on and. You know, you have some ideas. It really draws you in, and uh, you know, gets to you. You want you want to find out what's going on. You want to keep playing. You know, other than the terrible, terrible save system, <laughs> the auto save, which I really didn't care for. Uh, the problem was was you know if you wanted to replay a part of an episode. You would have to finish off the episode and then run through the entire. Say you wanted to play the, the last third of an episode. You would have to finish the episode off, then push replay episode, and you know run through the first two thirds of the episode to get to the last part. Um, I think it would have been greatly enhanced if they. Uh, just broke it up into, into chapters. I mean, it would have been simple enough to s just say chapter this, chapter that. And just have a break here and there where there was an auto save, where there was a you know an auto save function for that chapter, you know. And so, if you wanted to, you could at least you know jump into which uh, the whatever the latest chapter was right before you wanted to play the part you wanted to play, and you could just go from there. So you wouldn't have to run through the whole thing over again. <coughs> but I just wanted to make this um, file as a recap, and uh, well, not a recap, just a an end cap, and to say thank you for listening. And uh, I'm sorry if, if uh, I had no idea it would end like this. I didn't <laughs> realize the game ended. I didn't know there wasn't a season two, or, or that it would never be made again. So, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, if you were enjoying it yourself and you didn't know either, but uh, I, I still, I still go by this. I really, I certainly think it's worthy of being played, and uh, it's certainly worth worthy of. <coughs> purchase to uh, play for yourself to have some fun and uh, certainly th certainly there's stuff I didn't explore fully you know but uh, I don't really get I don't really got one minute playing this I had really had fun so I just wish it would continue that's all but <coughs> Excuse me, but all good things come to an end. 
and apparently this does <laughs> this ends rather abruptly on a cliffhanger a strange cliffhanger unfortunately we will never see the end of that but uh, as an experience it was it was great so I did find out that uh, the guy who did this uh, one of the guys Swery I guess his name is uh, had done another game uh, Deadly Premonition which I heard the name of all, all the time but I saw a tiny bit of but I've never I don't know how that goes um, I think I might play that so I think that might be I was l looking at either Life is Strange or possibly I'll play Deadly Premonition I also have another game called um, The Silver Case, which also looked very intriguing. And uh, it'll be a mix up between one of those three games, I think. Now, I mean, other than. I will continue to look for games like this, but. As a matter of fact, I prefer games like this. But, I mean, I'll also play. You'll, you'll also see me play some. Uh, generally, I play tactical games, sort of like, um, you know, sometimes turn-based games like Civilization and stuff like that, and also some role-playing games like, um, uh, actually role-playing games like Fallout, that type of thing. I still want to get to Fallout 4 at some point, but um, you'll be seeing more I think story games like this because I'm I'm really starting to enjoy these a great deal and I wanna I'm gonna take the time to look for them so uh, I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry if you were expecting more I didn't know but I hope you enjoyed you know what what we did play so let me say um, let me say goodbye and uh, end it off here, and uh, we'll see what we're gonna play next. So I'm gonna fr I'm gonna finish off some stuff and then pick out a new game. So hopefully you'll continue and uh, join me with that one, and um, I'll see you soon. So. Uh, Thank you for being here and uh, goodbye.